you guys had a couple of stretches in that game where you were pretty dominant defensively. You just look at turnovers and things like that. But then, you know, start of the first quarter, start of the third, they seemed to be able to kind of get what they wanted. What, what's the difference between those two stretches of the game where, you know, on one hand you're turning them over and getting what you need, and the other they're up? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, like the, the number, like the way the game went, speak for itself. Like I think when we're on them and, and doing what we do best, like we got stops, and when we didn't do that, like they, they, they you know, they scored and, and and they had what they wanted. So I think that's just the difference of the game, right there. Yeah, and, and is there something you guys can say? Do you think I don't know. I don't know. I think again, it's just not much we can say. We just gotta do it. Like we just gotta go. We just gotta go do it because we know we can do it. Um, you know, came out flat. You know, missed missed some couple of shots, and we're not getting stops. You know, um, like they they came out. You know, um, aggressive. The, the the first punch. You know, they threw the first half. Same thing. You know, all first quarter, um, they did the same thing. So, um, you know, credit to them. Like they're home. You know. It's like it's easy to you know just get confidence early and 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 we're just kind of like battling the whole game, um, but but yeah we we gotta be better. You had a players meeting um, not too long ago, um, and then you got some wins under your belt, and then of course a night like this happens. How frustrating is it, and just how do you even approach talking to your team? I mean, again, like I think at the end of the day, it's like it's like this, right? Like we <laughs> we we come in and. I think you know for for everyone it's like oh we're supposed to win right but it's like it's NBA like not like there's not games where you're supposed to win at the end of the day like we all professionals and these these teams come in and and they play hard and they want to win and and you know and like we we gotta just have the same mentality against any team like that's that's the thing like we can't just come in expecting to win um, those those guys play well you know they, they they had a great rhythm early and and. Um, and and what, yeah, that's what happens when when we don't come out with the, the energy that we're supposed to early on, um, which is like the game, the, the difference from the game we played at home against them to, to this game. The, the bad starts seem to be the theme seems to be they're coming on the road all the time. Like you're coming in and, and first quarter and you're getting behind. It, and this is a team that you know historically has been good on the road. Do you, do you have any any theory as to why all of a sudden? Yeah, no. I, like again, I don't I don't look at games at, on on the road or away. Like at the end of the day, like I come into every single game with the same mentality, and um, I think you know, like I don't think it's like a away or home thing. Like it could be it could be a pure coincidence. Like to be honest, but the the fact is that that we you know like we're not doing what we're supposed to, and when we're not, like it shows. Uh, yep, we having a having a hard time. He was getting downhill and getting a lay, and it wasn't. He's getting it to the to the right hand layup a lot, right, lot right, and um, so we weren't getting him slowed. He's coming with a lot of speed. We weren't protecting the rim uh, very good. Um, but there were some other ones, guys doing the same thing too. Kind of early again, we have a road first quarter defensively that's. Not very good. The, uh, Gary seemed to give him some trouble later on in the game when you switched him on. After all, I don't know, we got those four. Games. Yeah, I mean, we obviously, he was playing so well, we obviously had to switch to a lot of different schemes and coverages and stuff. And um, the particular scheme we're in at the time lended itself to Gary being on him. But he did battle him pretty hard. And we had a lot of good defensive possessions there for about the last. 16, 17 minutes of the game. The first time out that you decided to take um, the third quarter, what was the message during that? Was it just completely changed the complexion of the team's energy? Well, um, it, was, it was to get us to guard a little better, right? But we think we made a couple subs as well, right? It just wasn't uh, that group didn't guard either to start either, you know, the first half or the second half. So it was just not the right group against that team tonight. So we had to make those changes, and that's, that helped us. And that initial adjust, adjustment uh, to go zone in, in the first half, uh, what were you seeing? Yeah, I mean, it's like it's one of those times where you're not guarding them at all in man-to-man. So you might as well go zone and see, see if that changes the rhythm and 
So I always say, you know, you go zone and they make a shot, and everybody's like, oh, what did we go zone for? I was like, well, we weren't guarding them man to man either, right? So it was just it was just trying to search to get some rhythm back for us in the game. We played, you know, we did a lot of different stuff. Um, actually fought pretty hard, I thought, for the last, again, fixed 16, 17 minutes, about as hard as we could. Um, but not very good at the start of either half. Dug ourselves huge, huge holes if you just took out the first five minutes of each half, probably, or not very good. I mean, it looked like Franz Wagner and, and Boncaro, to a lesser degree, could get, could get into paint off the dribble way too easily. And is that, you know, how, did, how, how would you counter that going into Sunday? Um, well, we tried to counter it a little better in the second half, right? Or when we when it became a big problem, we we did about three or four different things and seemed to seemed to be helping us uh, a little bit. But we did, you're right though. We just again we weren't um, executing very well, you know, and letting them uh, get a, too good of a head start, and then no, and and lots of room in the middle, and not enough at the end. So not very good at any any part of those things. Yeah. I think you talked about the road the road first quarters of the defensive end and the slow starts. I mean, any theories on why that's happening? Um well I just think we got a couple guys that aren't 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 getting ready to go at, at the defensive end, um, on the road. Right? I mean it's you know, we we talk to them about it. We we tell them. I mean, most teams are different at home than they are on the road. We, you know, we talk to them how they how well they played the other night uh, against the Clippers. We talk to them about how they have a lot more energy and speed and pace, and they're gonna, you know, they're gonna they're gonna try to try to play in in the open floor a lot more and all that stuff. But we just weren't ready to match it, um, and that's disappointing. You know, it'd, it'd be one thing if, but it's it's. It's something we're going to have to look at and, and you know dissect it here pretty closely to see if we need to do something something different on the road. He only played six minutes, but what did you see from Kim? He was very good. I should have got him in there in the second half. He was very very good. I thought his six minutes. I don't know what his plus minus was. What was it? Plus four. Plus four. Yeah. Um, probably should have got him some more minutes. I thought he was a difference maker in some of that driving that was going on. Right. Christian was having a tough time with it. Bad, you know, those two guys. Kim came in there and kind of shut some of that off with his his uh, help in the uh, in the ball screen up the floor and then also at the rim. How much does seeing a team uh, three times in eight days play a factor in just even the way you approach, the way you come out against the team? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it probably doesn't help. You know, when you when you I don't know I don't know if we beat them pretty pretty bad at home the other day. It certainly probably doesn't help. You're, but you gotta you gotta be able to handle that, right? It's like it's like uh, you got a short memory, win or lose, right? And get ready to play and execute the game plan. But it certainly can't be an excuse. This is this is gonna go on a lot. Thanks very much, everyone. Oh, sorry, my sorry. I was just saying. I mean, you're you're you're, you know, you're pretty patient by nature, I would say. It seems. Yeah, it is. But I mean, is this kind of getting a little frustrating for you at this point? That, uh, yeah, I mean, listen, I think that, you know, I say this all the time. I said it before the game. It does not matter who we're playing. It is all a matter about how we're going to execute. I, I mean, that could have been Boston out there tonight, and we've got to execute better, right? When we do, we're, we're, we're going, giving ourselves a chance to win against anybody when we don't. We're giving ourselves a chance to lose against anybody. Kind of the nature of the league, but I think it's even more spotlighted a little bit on our team.